Welcome to the homework for lesson 10. This is module 4 of grade 2. Write your name first. <clears throat> and solving using the algorithm, that's vertical addition, also known as carryover addition. And we're also drawing chips and bundling when you can. I've said this before for the other lessons. Two things to keep in mind for this are do the vertical method first because we'll see we'll tend to see that when you do the drawing the chips and bundling first, then you won't actually do the vertical algorithm. You won't practice it and you won't get better at it if you don't practice it. So do the algorithm first and then draw the chips to check your answer. Now, I know if you're weak in your math facts um, that it's easier to draw pictures and count and it's a lot more comfortable but really you're not you have to get better at the vertical method so 125 plus 17 and try not to when you do this sometimes it it's easier we've been practicing so much mental math that some of these are pretty easy to add mentally and just write down what the sum is underneath without actually practicing the algorithm. We really want you to practice the steps in the algorithm. Add the ones first, add the tens next, then the hundreds. So please don't just do it in your head and write down the sum. We want to practice adding the ones first. It's backwards from doing in your head. If you do this in your head, you're going to add the tens first or the hundreds first and then add the ones last. But this is a pen paper and pencil method that it's really important for you to learn how to do this. So start with the ones first when you do this. 7 and 5, 12. That's a 10 and two ones. Now add the tens, 2, 3, 4, and there's your hundreds, 142. Drawing this, that's 100, two tens, 1, 2, and, and 5 ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then the 17 is a 10, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 ones. We're going to bundle these. Another 10. There's one, four tens, two ones. There's the 142. 148, 14. <clears throat> Start with the ones first. 8 plus 4 is 12. That's 10, 2. Add the 10s, 4, 5, 6, 162. Drawing, we have 100, 4 10s, and 8 1s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Absolutely must keep these organized in five group rows. And your 14 is going to be another 10 and 1, 2, 3, 4 ones. And there's the benefit right there. Your 10s are all together. And it's really easy to count. 100, 6 tens, and those two ones left over. 107. 56. Start with the ones digits first. 7 plus 6 is 13. That's a 10 and a 3. There's the 10. Add your 10s. That's 5 10s and 110. 6 10s, 163. Go to draw this. It's 100. It's 7 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 56 is 5 tens and 6 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's our 10 group. And now we count. We have 100, we have 6 tens, and we have 3 ones. 38 and 149. 
add the ones first. 8 and 9 is 17. That's a 10 and 7 ones. There's our 10. 3 and 4 is 7. One more is 8. And we just have 1 in the hundreds. That's 187. We draw it. <clears throat> we'll have 38. That's 3 tens. 1, 2, 3, and 8 ones. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the 149 is 100. And 1, 2, 3, 4 tens. And 9 more ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Bundle these 10. We draw it as a 10. We have 100. We have 8 tens. And we have 7 ones. <clears throat> number two. <laughs> that was all just number one in four parts. Jamie started to solve this problem when she accidentally dropped paint on her sheet. Ah, oh, this big glob of black paint. <clears throat> Can you figure out what problem she was given and her answer by looking at her work? So let's look at this. We have, right? Everything above this line is one add end, and everything under it is the other add end. So, what did we have first? We had a hundred. And one, two, three, four, five tens. And eight ones. And below the line, she had three tens. And four ones. And what was her answer? You can see here that she bundled, she, what she circled, she bundled 10 ones, right? So she's going to have, you can just count the tens, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, with two ones left over. She's going to have 192. You can just count her answer. In the morning, Mateo borrowed four bundles of 10 markers and 17 loose markers from the art teacher. Four bundles of 10. So that's four tens. So that's one, two, three, four tens, right? Four tens is 40. If we're going to draw a picture of this, it would look like this. Four bundles of 10. We've got a 10, a 10, a 10, a 10, and then 17 loose ones. There's a 17. How many markers is that? <clears throat> so that's four tens, and then we have 17, which is another 10, and seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 40 plus 17 equals, we don't have to bundle anything here, right? Just count it, 57. Mateo borrowed 57 markers. In the afternoon, Mateo borrowed two bundles of 10 crayons and 15 loose crayons. How many markers and crayons did Mateo borrowed in all. In the afternoon, he borrowed two bundles of 10 crayons and 15 loose crayons. So he's borrowing crayons and markers. And we figured out markers already. Now this is all about crayons, right? Because these are crayons, crayons, 
and then we want to figure out markers and crayons together after we figure out how many crayons this is. So two bundles of 10 crayons is there's two tens and 15 loose crayons 15 loose crayons and then we need to know the mark we add that to the markers which is 57 so all of that put together <clears throat> Now, if we want to do this vertically, we can figure out 10, 20, 35. We could add the 35 and the 57. And do that vertically. 5 and 7 is 12. That's a 10 and two ones. And then we have 5 and 3. That's 8. And one more is a 9. It's going to be 92. But if we draw it all, it's going to be... We have a 10, a 10, a 15, and a 57. So we have a 10, a 10. 15 is another 10 and 5 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the 57 is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 more 10s. And 7 more 1s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 more 1s. There's a 10 we can bundle nine tens and two ones borrowed 92 markers and crayons in 